Hey everybody, this is Andrew the Moo, and here we are on our way, heading straight towards Joe Mama. But before we can, let's talk to this guy. Hey, can you open the sewer gate here? I need to get through. Oh, sure can. Go right on through. Alright, so you just talk to this guy. He opens the door for you, lets you in, and... Uh... We're going to take a quick stop at the bounty store, I mean, the general store real quick, just to make sure that I didn't miss any items that I could get. And we look through armor, upgrades, other, nothing there for us, so we can go ahead and head back to the open door for us. It's just one of those things that popped in my head all of a sudden, like, I've not gone to the general store yet, and so I really, really, really need to head there. But the door's still open for us, and we just drop down. You can drop down, or you can, you know, do that. But you don't really take fall damage in this game. You you take stamina damage. But, I mean, it's not that bad. So, we're heading through the sewer treatment, or the water treatment, sewer treatment. We're heading through the sewers, alright? And, by the way, if you notice the fact, uh, we can see uh, bolomites. We're going to turn around, and we're going to grab us a bolomite. Because we need them right now. So, never be afraid to grab the animals that you need in order to survive. So, we make our way down and down, 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 and here we are in the sewer treatment plant. Let's talk to this guy. Those currents are too strong to swim through. You gonna switch off that damn current? Uh, Alright, I'm switching it off. Don't get your boxers all bunched up. I like how that basically a non-issue for us at this moment. But notice the fact there are barrels. And those barrels equal money. Money! Yay, money! But just go ahead and get you a double jump in there because swimming is so slow in this game. So, I mean, I, I understand the reason why, because you probably won't be able to swim as fast as you can run, especially in the condition that um, Stranger is in. Ah, camera. And sometimes the camera gets caught up on things, so we have been spotted by those guys. But the neat thing is, you can turn on your uh, turn on your shots, and you can shoot those. I mean, and, and you can shoot them from a safe distance, uh, so that they cannot just, uh, you know attack you and the nice thing is one fully charged shot of your uh, zap yeah one fully charged shot of your zap fly takes those guys down those are slicks and uh, kind of like as you can tell they're, they're kind of like dogs in this game and maybe if you can you know we're gonna want to head that way in order for plot but let's make a movement forward and jump this way and let's see what's over here and barrel barrel up oh, and look what's behind the barrel treasure chest so again this is why i'm saying feel free to stick you know to to hop past the beaten path because the beaten path isn't always a bad thing and be careful trying not to let some of the money drop down so do a quick jump and let's make our way up and try to kill some more slags this area is relatively um easy uh, compared to a lot of other areas in the game. If you need some bolomites, there's some more bolomites. Look at all of these dogs that we have to kill. All of them. Dead. So what I'm going to do, because it's going to take me a few moments to kill through these, and you probably don't want to sit here and watch me killing one by one by one by one. Um, I'm going to uh, hop back uh, once these guys are dead and we're down there, okay? Alright. After falling we're back up at the top here and we've got some more slags right down here uh and i missed my shot try to nail them thankfully the nice things about slags uh they'll latch onto you and then disappear i don't quite know how that works but that stops them from being a huge thorn on my side so i'm i'm quite happy with that so uh we can go this way and look a barrel and we have a little bit of money at least like you know six dollars Six dollars is better than no dollars. And fuzzles! If you need fuzzles, there are fuzzles right over here. So let's make our way forward, and let's go ahead and take out these barrels, whose crimes are nothing more than being barrels. And let's kill them. 
because that's what we do to barrels. We blow them up. And let's make our way up this, um... Make our way up this. I wanted to check to see if there was anything over in that direction. Couldn't remember. Make our way up the rope, and we see there... You know, that looks suspicious. Immediately turn on. Yeah, that's right. Immediately turn on that, uh... That, um... Come on, come on. Ugh. And I'm about to get hit by some slags. Mm. So, yeah. So, I mean, they don't do a whole lot of damage, so they're not that, that bad. But it's good to know how you're going to be attacked by them and how you can defend against them. So slide down this way and jump. Barely made the rope just then. Barely made the rope. But I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. And if you need them, there are thud slugs right up above you. I don't think we need any thud slugs now, so we're going to move forward. Been looking for skunk bombs. Those will make them outlaws puke. Yeah, and I can bounty them while they barf them. I like how Stranger is a man of simple values. And these are the skunks that we saw at the very beginning of the game and had a chance to play around with. Uh, it takes a little bit for us to get to those skunks, but yeah, it's the area of effect stink bomb, basically. Uh, so, yeah. And once we enter into this area, there are... Yeah, those guys. So, you want to be careful when sliding down here because it'll throw you down where there's a bunch of slags. And, um, yeah. You don't want to get caught up in all that. You don't want to have to deal with so many slags all at once. Because that's just a recipe for death and destruction. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this and I'm going to uh, kill through these slags. And then we're going to hop down and see everything. I mean, I, I just don't want to take the time to go through every single thing that we're dealing with and uh, kind of going from there with it you know so I'll see you guys in a moment all right so we have dropped down here uh, because basically we're gonna be flopping down in this direction anyway and there's really nothing ah 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 come on don't stop that uh, I, I realized something that I'd forgotten is that those crates those areas are gonna constantly open up with sligs and so there's really no point in just trying to shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot. So we just drop back down here. And we can easily make our way around here. And uh, that should give us kind of a barrier protection because for some reason the slags don't think to attack you. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to accept it and be happy that they're going to leave me alone. But there are some more slags that are up this way and you can try to shoot them. I... I'm not always good about shooting enemies that are way up there like this, so I think sometimes the best bet is just go ahead and take the hit. You see how it latched onto me and then just disappeared? And I just ate. Well, I guess they ate, but I ate as far as them eating me. Just eat the damage sometimes and... Exploding crates. Didn't see that coming, did you? I'm at the point now, as far as I've played this game so much, there are certain things that I forget here and there. But, like, there's not a lot that surprises me. If you need some chickmunks, there they are. Hear that, guys? Oh, we've got some enemies up ahead. You can hear them. And you can look and get a good view of them. But you'll notice there's some red barrels. You just can see there's some enemies there. But if you look over to the bottom left, or bottom right of that, and we just took out a bunch of enemies all in one fell swoop. Oh, hey, guys. I did not even realize you were down here. Hello. <laughs> Didn't even realize that. Like I said, there are some things you forget sometimes when you're playing through this game. You know, playing through a game you, you, you haven't played through in a while. Uh... But, like, I, I don't remember if I've ever said this or not, but I used to play through this game, like, once a year. I like the game that much. So, I, I don't know really what that says about me, but I, to me, this is one of my favorite games that I've ever played. That's just the way that I feel about it. You know, that's just me, myself, and I, and, you know, all that jazz. But, um, I think sometimes it's really, you know, really good to have a game that you like and to play through it kind of as often as you can. Or, not actually as often as you can. But to, to, to enjoy it so much to the point that you're willing to play it multiple times. And to get kind of a feel of it. 
Oh, and this guy somehow survived that uh, mauling that we gave him a few moments ago. So if you want to, you can drop down and you can grab what's there and you can grab what's in the water. We're going to grab some of those just real quick. Probably not all of them because there's some way, way, way over there and then there's one right here. I'm uh, probably going to grab just what's right here, but just letting you know as far as there's ropes all around. Where if you wanted to take more of a stealth approach and you wanted to use the water to your advantage, you could. Because you could swim off to a particular area. So we continue moving forward some and... <coughs> Pardon me. Fuzzles, fuzzles, fuzzles everywhere. Switching to the Thud Slug because... Oh, no, Bolomites. Yeah, Bolomites would be good. Um, because we're going to need them in just a moment. And I don't want to waste the Boom Bats. Because Boom Bats are going to be very good for us here shortly. Go ahead and hop on up. And... You got two areas, or three areas. Two of them are graded and one of them is open. Kind of makes you wonder in which direction you're going to want to head. And I think we've got a new weapon coming up, a another new weapon, and I think this is pretty much going to get us for our weapons. Uh... Mm, sting bees. Those things fire fast. Best grab a bunch. Machine guns of the game, the sting bees, where you can get, uh, you know, like thousands, not thousands, but hundreds of bees, 375 all at once. Later on, you'll be able to carry like 700 or so of these. So this is a weapon I like to use on certain, you know, every once in a while. Um, I probably won't show them off just yet, but it's probably something that I'll show off uh, sometime in the future. You'll definitely get to see them. Uh, here we are with these guys, and we've got a few of these jokers around here. And now would be a good time to, if you've forgotten what they're like, just show off the skunks. Ooh, we, we got a third one coming this way, so let, let's wait just a moment to see if he joins them. Oh, come on. You you got, you three know you want to, to, to share memes and, and, and things of that. And, yeah, whatever. Yeah, go ahead and start shooting at me. I got these two guys sucked up and in the bag. Oh, he's running. He's, he's running from me. Well, there's a particular reason why he's running from me. So I'm going to wait just a moment and see if he comes back. But we're going to grab us a skunk real quick. Because, well, you know, skunks. And he seems to be wanting to hang out in that particular area. So that may be a bad thing. I don't know. Um, I know what's up ahead. Okay, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. And we shoot him. For a moment there, I didn't think we were actually uh, he was going to come back. So, if you can't see him quite up ahead, but there's a drainage ditch way up above, and inside of that is a sniper. You're going to want to be careful of the sniper to see if you can kind of shoot him down. If need be, there are boom bats at your disposal, and you all know how much I love boom bats. I swear by them in this game. They're my favorite weapon, and yep, yep, yep he's taking aim at me right now. He's taking aim. I see him. And... Yeah. Meh. You know what? Let's go ahead and shake some of this off. See if one of these guys comes around the... Okay, if not, um... Ah! You know what? I think it's a really good idea right now. Aha! Alright, now let's take out the sniper. Yeah, your little woohoo and all that jazz. Alright. So these guys are down. We can go ahead and grab some bodies and some cash. You know, so uh, you don't get as much for dead bodies, but, I mean, they, they at least offer something on the uh, organ donor market. Ah, oh, that deteriorated. The organ donor market. So there's at least that. But we're almost at Jo Mama. She's right up ahead. But before we go, we're going to introduce ourselves to her, and then we're probably going to call this an episode. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to every one of you the character we know as Jo Mama. Get 
All right, so this is our first, I think, only female boss in the game. Or a female bounty, I should say that. Uh, that's Joe Mama. But, hey, this has been Andrew the Moo. We'll take her out in just a moment. Later, guys.